maybe you were uh, working at a restaurant like Mr. Tran said, right? And for the day, you sold 25 steaks, and you, stole, you sold uh, 20 pieces of chicken, and you sold 30 fish. And what if my boss came up to me and said, hey, I want to know the percent of fish that you sold that day. How would I figure that out? I'd probably calculate a sales report that might be shown like this in a bar graph, or maybe it would be in the form of a pie chart. But then I would actually have to calculate the percent. And how do we calculate percent? Gary? Uh, estimation sometimes. OK. But if I gave you the decimal, how would you calculate the percent? The decimal into a percent. Yeah. And if I gave you the fraction, how would you calculate the percent? Turn the fraction into a decimal, then the decimal into a percent. Exactly. So to figure out a percent, we have to figure out the decimal. And to figure out the decimal, we have to figure out the fraction. If that makes sense to you, thumbs up. If you're not quite sure what we just discovered, thumbs to the side. Alex, do you understand? Yeah. Jennifer, Florentino? Okay. So this is something that we've been covering for the past couple days, actually. We've been following these rules to reach the percent. So now we're going to continue to do it a little bit more. So for the first problem here, there's a guided practice sheet, and there's both a pie chart and a bar graph. So if I give you both a pie chart and a bar, a bar graph, what do you think you have to do first? You have to read the, bi the bar graph for the pie chart, right? You're welcome. So if you look at these bar graphs or pie charts, what do you know already just by looking at them? They look the same? What else do you know about that? We did this before. You did it before? Yeah, you did, but what else do you know? Do you know the number of tickets sold in Florida if you look at this bar graph? Yeah. Do you know the number of tickets sold in Hawaii if you look at it? How do you know that? Yeah, it says it, yeah. What else do you know by looking at just the bar graph? Not the pie chart, but just the bar graph. What would you know? 